Okay, so here we are again. Now we're on chemistry five. Okay, so let's do a little recap. Time to move on to a new topic. Um, well, not exactly a new topic, but yeah, we spoke about isotopes. And just one more thing to clarify here. Isotopes, um, they're chemically the same. Um, uh, their chemical properties are the same. Um for different isotopes they're the same for different isotopes um, because their electron configuration is the same so even though we have a um, even though we've got like a different number of um, neutrons uh, in the nucleus because they don't have any charge um, it doesn't actually affect the chemical properties because the electron configuration is the same. Okay, so, so yeah, so now what we're going to do is, I wanted to move on. In, in some of the earlier um, episodes, I've kind of alluded to this shell, like shells and stuff like that. Um, um, so basically, the way, the way it works, I guess, is that, um, is that if you've got, if you've got like, um, if you've got like the nucleus, you know, just compare anything, then all the electrons that are going around here, um, you know, they're not just going, they're not just going randomly. I mean, obviously the way I've made it look like it's going in a big circle, but, um, or it'd be a, 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 a spherical sort of thing, but they're not just going randomly. Um, and that's the important thing to understand. It's not just random. Um, and when we speak about ionization energy, which is, um, about reactions, um, you notice that there's basically kind of like, you know, if you've got like energy here, right. Um, Big, big E actually energy here um, and you can see that, that I mean this might be a bit oversimplified but basically it will be something like the energy is that and then it will go be like that and then like that that's just that's like a stepwise function or something um, but basically yeah there's there's these sort of bands of energy um, and that's sort of um, quite an interesting concept so um, and, it, and, it, and it kind of and it kind of um, has helped much of um you know in, in modern times it's been very important this sort of thing um but one of the um but so one of the, one of the um but the earliest way to explain this is through this idea of shells right shells and this is um this is actually you know you notice um how things are organized on the on the table so if you imagine like um and the way it works is you basically, you've got up to two shells. Um, in shell one, up to eight shells in shell two. Um, and then we've got 18 in shell three. So these are all going progressively outwards, right? And obviously they've got different, different energies associated with them. So if we just um let's um let's go through actually um let's go through uh mm, yeah yeah but basically so that's how it works. I'm gonna actually go through the table in a minute. But the other thing that I want to point out here um is uh is kind of this this whole idea of um of what energy is. So what is energy? I'll just write this here, what is energy? And I'm, 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 and and how can we actually so it's like how can we actually get to this shell issue i mean i could have put it before but shells are such an important thing that i also wanted to put it there anyway shells right so how can we actually get to this idea of shells well the idea right is that um obviously right in in space we've got little particles just like floating about and everything and most stuff is just empty air right um so particles are like this particles are like this right but um, energy itself is also like this. So energy is also like this. And basically you've got like um, the singular and the plural of a uh, certain word. So the, the singular here is um, going to be um, quantum. And the plural is um, quanta. Um, so it could be like one packet, uh, many packets, maybe, you know, it's one way of looking at it. 
many packets. So that's the sort of that's how energy is um, uh, kind of kind of organized, I suppose, um, and you know, and, and applied. So if you um, if you kind of apply this to electrons, right, then you get this sort of that sort of stepwise function I was talking about. Um, so you apply it to electrons. And you'll see that there'll be big um, energy spikes and like, like ionization energies. And that's sort of um, how you calculate things in uh, chemistry. Um, um, so it's like, uh, so if, if they're going to be uh, stable, right? So if you've got, um, so basically it's like imagining that Let's say we've got like, you know, we've got two, two, 10 and 28, right? Which is how many electrons we're dealing with in total, right? As I, as I alluded to in the show, just, just, you know, you can imagine two plus eight is 10, uh, 10 plus eight is 28. What you can imagine is that all these things, all these numbers are stable, right? So it's all stable. But anywhere in between here, everything, anywhere in here, everything is going to fall into the nucleus. Everything here will fall into the nucleus. Electrons, obviously. So you don't want that. You want these stable states, right? Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, so you can't actually... Uh, yeah, so basically there's different and there's different ways of looking at this. There's like shells and it's all this is like a huge topic coming up really. Um and it's gonna but but yeah, but you don't want stuff falling into the nucleus basically. Um, um yeah, because that's bad. Because because the nucleus is like all powerful sort of thing. Um Okay, so these shells, so I mentioned that you've got these shells, one, two, three, four. Um, so, yeah, so if we look at it like that, it's like, um, so shells, um, uh, numbers, okay, so these are the principal quantum numbers. And anything kind of like more, more difficult here, when you talk about spin and all this sort of like more difficult stuff, um, quantum numbers are pretty important. Principal quantum number, um, principal and obviously, and that's n. Okay, so many things are um, n, I suppose, aren't they? Um, all right. So let's um, let's draw. Let's do the table now because I wanted to do the table. Uh, and yeah, so I'll do the table now. So we'll just put, so we'll put, um, um, we'll put the atomic number here, Z. Um, and then we'll put N equals one, N equals two, N equals three. So remember this shell can, uh, um, so this is like the first. This is like the first shell which can take two. Um, so I put max. Max it can take is two. Um, and the max. Um, uh, max this can take is ten. And the max this can take is twenty-eight. All right. So we'll do like that. Um, so the next thing that we want to look at is we've got the elements right so let's put in hydrogen first then we've got helium uh lithium um beryllium um then we've got boron carbon uh what's after carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine Neon and sodium. Okay, so that's cool. So there, there are all the different things. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit. Uh, hmm. Well, it'll be alright, I suppose. Okay, so yeah, so as you can imagine, this is just the first eleven elements. So we've got one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we've got up to 11 here. Okay, so with 11 elements like this, um, it's really pretty easy to fill this in. It's just um, one, then two, and then um, it'll be two, one, won't it? So yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty easy to see how this works. Two, one, two, two, I'm just gonna, if I draw a couple of lines in, it will actually just make it a bit easier to see it. Two, 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 three, uh, two, four. I don't want to go too far here. Uh, and um, and then I'll just, um, and yeah, so the base of the bottom one is two, eight, one. Don't need to fill in the whole lot. Um, but yeah, so neon is two, eight. I think I may as well fill in the whole lot while I'm here now. Two, five, two, six, two, seven. So at seven, I've got two, five. So yeah, that, that makes it fairly readable actually. Um, so as you can see, that's the configuration and how they work in the shells. So when a quantum number, um, so you can see that we've got neon uh, and helium, we've got full shells there. Um, carbon is at a state right in the middle, four electrons. And of course, we're using, uh, for the atomic number, this is obviously uh, the electrons. Um, um, so that's electrons in a, neutral, in a neutral atom. Um, so obviously it'd be affected by ionization stuff. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, so, yeah, I'll be moving, I'll be talking more about this stuff. Um, yeah, these, en and the energy levels, I'll just point out. Um, uh, so the energy levels are known as quantized. This is a word that I've kind of, I've not really wanted to use. Um, I would prefer to use quantify, but you do have to use this word. Um, so the energy levels called quantized. Quantized. So quantized interesting word I wonder if that should be an s actually maybe it should be an s hmm. well anyway i think i'm yeah i think i am going to leave it there there's there's obviously um a lot more to talk about here um and yeah but for now 